Welcome back to the coverage of YC Bochum 2016. You just missed the Dragon Duel Award Ceremony, but we recorded that outside so we can show it in between rounds. And what went down here, guys? So, as I was saying, the first match was basically... The first game was just give up. Uh, there's nothing that I can do. I can't so really see anything. game was decided in the early game. Now, game two, actually, yeah. we felt that it should have gone, probably gone to Roman in the end. But because uh, Roman had a lot of cards set that was going to be able to yeah. deal with anything that Tower was going to do. But then Roman kind of just surrenders. seemed to give up. It's one of those situations where both players had like loads of stuff and then they were just like, oh, yeah, it's over. Okay. You know, it's one of those moments where you, you think, oh, they maybe had a chat. You know, oh, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. going to do yep. this and then you're going to do this and then I'm going to win. So normally we're used to having perfect information, but this is one of those examples where the opposite was the case. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of... Yeah, because and forwards. Yeah, it was a bit weird. Yeah, we they totally just gave up. All right, and then third game we just saw. Yeah, went a big back and forth with dark yep. holes and Raigek keys on both sides of the field. Yeah, uh, quite entertaining to watch, at least from when when I joined you guys. Don't know what it was like before that. Yeah, it was it was good. It was a good it match. Was really good match. Yeah, and so in the end, it is Roman Kiesa. He actually he did well on the national level. I'm pretty certain of that. Think I uh, recognize him somehow. Yeah, he he was near the top tables before. Yeah. So um, we can try and bring him in. We're going to check with uh, the judges if this is the last match in progress. That would be unfortunate because then we can't, cannot do a feature, uh, interview. If it isn't, then we're going to have him here and he's going to run us through it. What happened in that second game and why did he give up? With that, guys, we're going to be right back. Hello everybody and welcome back to YCS Bochum 2016. Joining me is Roman, uh, the winner of our latest feature match. Now, we, we're back as promised because we have a little bit of time while the top eight uh, deck profiles are being done on our written coverage, so you can go and check that out later as well. So, you are here with E-Heroes yeah. and you're in the top eight. Yeah. You, you're making it quite far. Now, uh, of all the, because this is kind of a, a deck that's designed to bring out totally, or, totally awesome, yeah, surely. Yeah. Uh, out of all of the totally awesome variants, why did you go for Heroes? Uh, because it, I think it's like the best deck if you're going second. Yeah. Because 
in my 11 rounds plus top 32 and 16, yeah. I only won like three dice rolls. Mm -hmm. And every other time I had to go second, but I still could yeah, win a lot of games even though I had to go second. And I think it's that's hard uh, for a deck right now because the first turn is pretty much everything. Yeah, yeah, we we've actually been saying that on the stream all weekend that you're going to go first or second or first always. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, uh, you've got such a we're in such a format that needs to set up, uh, especially uh, Paleozoics need to be able to set and get ready to be able to do do the stuff that they got. Now your side deck just seems to completely hate Paleozoics. Just yeah, trap, it's all right. Trap, it's, trap. There are there are four four anti Paleozoic cards. Yeah. I think it's yeah. <laughs> But you, we, got, we, you got the traps and the wiretaps during that game. Uh, yeah, yeah, we yeah. absolutely loved it. Yeah, they are really great if they don't open with Swap Proc because Trapstone is kind of slow wiretap too. As soon as they have a Toad out before, before I can resolve my Trapstone, yeah, it's pretty much game. I was really lucky the, the, through the whole two days that my Paleozoic opponents didn't open with Swap Proc a lot. Right, so you, you just had a bit of an easier time to be able to get around them. Yeah, yeah. Now, during game two, um, you kind of just gave up. Yeah. Um, we're not quite sure why, because we were looking at what you had, and we felt that you could probably take it for a few more turns with what you had set in your back row. I mean, is there any reason why you just stopped the match? I didn't see how I could win. I think my back row was like two twin twisters and one trap stun. Yeah, you, you had the trap stun. And you had, yeah, you had the trap stun. You were able to kind of stop, and he didn't really have much on the field either. So he had he had his toad plus his dew frog. I believe that you actually you had the acid on the field, which is the biggest monster. So you would have been able to stop him from, kind of. You wouldn't. Oh yeah, yeah, but but pa pa Paleozoic is like this. As soon as they have the advantage over the game, mm -hmm. they steamroll you. You don't have any chance. So yeah. I thought uh, Paleozoic is stronger in the time up than heroes. So I thought I don't see any 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 so you chance of winning because next turn he would have gone into the. Uh, the guy that, that turns his traps, he removes my, my acid, maybe goes into a sec second, uh, totally awesome. And then we're like, well, I have spell trap removals, but I face uh, three good, uh, three three toads that there's no way to be coming back from that. Okay, that's brilliant. Yeah, that, that, that makes complete sense. Absolutely. Um, so, uh, with you been playing this all weekend, yeah. is there any big plays that you can remember that you thought, wow, that was awesome? <laughs> It's pretty much standard. I don't think I have done something world-changing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had an interesting game against uh, against Monarchs, where I yeah, where where I first uh, went into Anki to to get out his his uh, Stormforth yeah. into Ether. So pretty much, I went with the, uh, I saw Shadow Mist to went into the, be be uh, to be the battle phase. Mm -hmm. uh, when th in the battle phase, I went into Mask Change for Anki to run over his monster to, and to search for another Mask Change. Uh, because it was in the battle phase, he couldn't summon his Ether. Mm -hmm. And then I set everything in the back row. And then I knew, okay, now he would summon his, his trap. He would uh, summon his monsters, and then I could uh, re. Turn the, the board around with my face down. Uh, hero lives. Instant fusion. I I drew, I drew good, but he also, uh, yeah, he opened with the knots, but I could actually turn it around. Yeah. But yeah, but it's nothing that really exciting. I have to say. No, that's fair. That's fair. Um, so when you were kind of building your choices, yeah. you got your you got your a bit of trap eight in there for your Paleozoics, but yeah. what were you kind of expecting to come up against, and what were you testing for? Uh, can you repeat that? So, what, what were you expecting to come up against, and what were you, what were you testing for, and uh, when you were pretty building? Pretty much uh, ABC, mm -hmm. Paleozoic, mirror matches, yeah. and the uh, metal foes. Yeah, yeah, of course. Now, out of all of those, which would you say do you feel is the strongest at the moment? <laughs> if you win the dice roll, or overall? Overall. Well, I think I think heroes. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't have chosen this day. Of course, of course. Yeah, of course, the heroes have been kind of huge for a long time now. Anyway, because mass, yeah, mass yeah. change and dark law and everything is just completely awesome. Mm. Anyway, and now you've got totally awesome, which can you can bring out with um, 
about much shock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's you've got a really, really strong deck type that's just been given something even better. Mm -hmm. And Totally Awesome has kind of changed the format completely. I, I feel yeah, like it's, it's a dumb card. It's a dumb card. You, you can put it in anything. Yeah, pretty uh, much. Pretty much. Because yeah. as long as you can get a Balmut Shark out, you can yeah, play yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like what I like about this meta now is that you, I feel like you can play anything as long as you can get Totally Awesome into it. Yeah, it's kind of true, but, but still, I don't think that cards that, in, that negate something else are good for the game itself. Okay. No, that's fair. No, fair enough, fair enough. I mean, yeah. Um, we, how long have you been playing? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, that's a good question. I'm guessing, like, I joined when the when there was the, the Chaos format where, yeah. where they played Skellangles and the three Chaos Sorcerers and yeah. the Mystic Tomatoes. There oh, I showed way back that when. That's like nine or ten years probably. So what would you say was your favorite format? It was Tengu Plant. Tengu Plant. Yeah, I loved that. Back yeah, in around 2009. Yeah, it was, it was great, yeah. yeah. Like the Foolish into Dandelion into Devil Dragon into Trish. It was great, yeah. So yeah, I, it basically I, I had to stop around that time during university. So I, I'm kind of upset that I, got, I missed out. Oh, on no, format. no, you you missed the best format. So, so much. Because, well, before that, I, I played back in Chaos format. Yeah. Like proper Chaos Dragon, yeah. Yatagarasu, uh, Priority. Yeah. Just absolutely, that was my format. Yeah. And then Monarchs after that and Warrior Toolbox. Yeah, uh, yeah. Which is why when we were talking about Duke Frog, we were talking about Marauding Captain and all, all sorts of things. So it's, it's good to be in something that's been playing kind of as long as I have as well. That really kind of looks at a deck that I think personally is really good as well yeah. and then they're playing it as well so I'm I'm really really happy with that now we're gonna kind of go back to some pre-recorded content for now we'll see if we can drag anybody else in but as I say the top eight profiles are going to be happening very soon which means that you're going to be getting yours as well so congratulations on thank winning thank you very much uh, congratulations on getting into the top eight so yeah. far and best of luck for the rest of your games thank you very much